Hello all. Welcome to the wireless world of XPs. In this video, we shall see the ways of communicating between these two XP radios. These XP radios are manufactured by DG International. We are going to use S1, Series 1 XP radios, that is uh, 802.15.4 protocol XP radios. We are going to use this uh, USB dongle. This is the breakout board made by NSK Electronics Bangalore. This uh, doesn't need any external power source. Only the USB connector is needed. If you see the XB module, this is the pin 1. You can see the printout. Pin 1 is printed. This is the VCC, 3.3 volts power supply. And this one is the pin 10. Pin 10 is ground. If you see the USB breakout board, at the back side, you can see the broad patch. This uh, broad patch is always ground. And that is connected to pin 10. So, you turn it to the front side. This pin 10 should match the pin 10 of the board. You should take care to insert properly into the sockets. You connect the USB wire to one of your ports of your PC. Power LED glows up and this LED starts blinking. This one side setup. The second XP, you place it on the second dongle and connect the USB wire. So this is the setup to start up the configuration. Now open up the device manager and scroll down to ports. You can see the USB breakout boards with the XP is recognized. One is allowed at COM13 and the second one is allowed at COM14. If it is not recognized, then you have to download the FTDA drivers. We are going to use XCTU software of DG International to configure the XBs. Fire up the first instance of XCTU. This is the welcome window of XCTU software. It has already recognized your uh, XBs at COM13 and COM14. First we shall configure the XB at COM13. Select COM13 and you ensure that uh, baud rate is 9600 and 8 and 1. Data bit 8, parity none and stop bit 1. We are using AT mode so do not tick this uh, enable API. Now click on this test query button. XCTU is communicating with the modem and it has uh, discovered a modem of type XB24 at uh, COM13 port. This is the unique serial number, 16 bit serial number of that modem. Click OK. Now click on modem configuration. Under modem configuration, click on read. Now the parameters of the XB radio is read. The CH is the channel ID, PAN ID is the network ID, 3332 hex is the default value of that. Destination address high, destination address low byte, MY is the source bit. And if you scroll down, you can see the baud rate. That is 9600. This is the firmware. XB802.15.4 is the firmware. Series 1 firmware. We are using Series 1 XB modules. So firmware is XB802.15.4. Keep aside this. Again click on XCTU to open up the second instance of the software. This is the welcome window of XCTU. 
XCTU has already recognized your XB is connected at COM13 and COM14. Select uh, USB serial port COM13 first. And confirm that the baud rate is 9600 and settings are 8 and 1. Data bits 8, parity none and stop bit is 1. Do not check this uh, API. We are going to use AT mode so do not check this API. Click on test query. Now XCTU will communicate with the modem and it has uh, discovered on XB24 type of modem at COM13. And this is the unique serial number of the XB. Click OK. Now click on modem configuration. And under modem configuration, click read. Now the parameters of XB connected at COM13 are displayed. These are the parameters of uh, XP connected to COM13. CH is channel and PAN ID is the network ID. By default it is 3332 hex. And this is the destination address high. Default is 00. Destination address low byte. And 16 bit source address MY. If you scroll down you can see the baud rate. Baud rate is 3, that is 9600 by default. And firmware is XB802.15.4, which is series 1 firmware. Keep this aside and fire up another instance of XCTU. This is the second instance of XCTU. Now we are going to configure the second XB connected to COM14. Click COM14. Confirm that baud rate is 9600 and 8N1. Enable API is not ticked. Click on test query. Now another modem of type XB24 is detected. Click OK. Now click on modem configuration and click read. These are the parameters of the second XB. Now we shall see the thumb rules for both these XBs to communicate. For both these XBs to communicate, both XBs should be in the same network and same channel and should operate on same baud rate. In the XCTU program, these are represented as PAN ID, network ID. By default it is 3332. And CH, channel, by default it is 0C. Range is uh, 0B to 1A, that is 16 channels, by default it is 0C, and BD is the baud rate, default is 3, 9600 baud rate. And the destination address DL of first XB should be the same as source address MY of the second one, and vice versa. These are the thumb rules. We have to follow these rules so that uh, both XBs communicate with each other. Now we shall check up the thumb rule with the XBs connected. The first one connected at COM13 as channel C. So the second one should also be at the same channel. So it is also at C. Next one is the network ID, PAN ID. 3332 is the default. You can change it to any hex value. Change it to 3100. The second XP should also be under the same network address. So change it to 3100. Destination address high byte, it is 00. We are interested in destination address low byte only. Because in point to point communication, only the low byte address need to be configured. Say you change it to 10, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And source address MY change it to 0011. In the second XB, this destination address low should be same as the MY of the first XB. So MY of first XB is 11. 
change the DL of second XB as 1 1 and MY of second one should be same as the DL of the first one so DL is 1 0 so change it to 1 0 and confirm the baud rate that is by default uh, 3 9600 now click on write the parameters changed are recorded in the first XB also click on write the parameters are recorded now click terminal the second one also click terminal now type in some text inside COM13 it will be received under COM14 So the transmit uh, uh, text is in blue color and receive text is in red color. Same way, go to COM14 terminal and type in some text. It will be received under COM13. Now we have established a communication between two XBs successfully. Now we shall try to change the thumb rule and see what happens. Under modem configuration of COM13, change the channel to D. Click on right. Now the first XB works on under channel D and the second one works under C. Now go to terminal. And type something. Now communication is lost. Again under modem configuration, change the channel to C. Right. Now communication is established. Same way under modem configuration, if you change the network ID, click on write. Now network ID of uh, XP, first XP and the second XP are different. Now if you try to communicate, you can't communication is last change it to the previous value 3100 and click on write now communication is established same way if you try to change the destination address Change this destination address to 00. zero. Now, if you try to communicate, it is not possible as the destination address is different. So, this uh, DL of first one should be same as the MOI of the second one. Now communication is established. Now we shall see how to configure the modem using uh, 80 commands.
to enter into the command mode just type three consecutive plus symbols the modem will respond with an ok do not type anything before or after that plus symbols just type three consecutive plus symbols and if you wait for more than 10 seconds it will come out of the command mode it will go to the uh, transmit mode or transparent mode now it is entered into the trans uh, transmit mode again type three plus symbols wait it is entered into the command mode type AT modem will respond with an OK if you want to know the network ID type AT ID to know the destination address low byte AT DL to know the source address AT MY if you want to change the network ID you type AT ID and then uh, the byte 3332 now the network ID has changed and any changes you made will be recorded only if you give the ATW or command now it has entered into the transparent mode again type 3 plus symbols now if you give the ATWR command the uh, changes are recorded another interesting command is ATND it detects the other nodes existing in the surroundings other XB's uh, the nodes of other XP's are displayed. Thank you for watching.